biggest thing is nervousness and speech anxiety. A lot of people come in here uh, talking about how they just they get up in front of a crowd and just freeze. Um, and it's a difficult thing to tutor on because it's so individual um, and people feel nervous for different reasons. Your public speaking is totally natural. All humans have it. It's uh, it's a very face-threatening act. It's potentially putting your ego uh, at risk. Is is putting yourself out there and, and, and being evaluated by any number of sets of eyes. But in terms of overcoming that fear, you can look at fear of public speaking from sort of a psychological perspective. You know what's maybe triggering that fear, as well as from a skill development perspective. How can we increase your skill so that you feel less apprehensive? So the more you know about speech, the more you're aware of what goes into a good and a bad speech, and just getting better at the act is going to reduce apprehension when you stand up in, in front of an audience. I knew that these students had to have an organized, structured place to practice. There's something about having this third space to the class that's not the classroom, not at home, but a place where they can draft stuff up, where they can test out ideas, get feedback in a, in a sort of a non-class, non-graded, non-judgmental way. So the Speaking Center sort of provides that space and responds to that need. I feel like going to Speaking Center actually is really, really easy. Um, I'm able to sign up online. It takes two seconds. They send you a reminder telling you, hey, don't forget, you have to come and do this. Um, you come in, they check you in really quickly, and then they're able to videotape you while you speak. So you're able to then afterwards go back and see your video, they email it to you, so you can see how you did on your own as well. And then right after you do your speech, you sit down and you kind of do a, a plus and a delta of what things worked really well for you and what things maybe you can improve on. So what do I want people to know about the public speaking center? Well, I would want them to know that it's a space where they should come and practice stuff Regardless of where they are in the preparation cycle, I would say we spend a lot of time working with people at various stages of preparation. So yes, it's a great place to work on delivery and fine-tune delivery, but one of the things that is important to me as a speaker and as a speech writer and as a speech teacher is helping people understand that delivery is tremendously important, but they need help getting a presentation that can be delivered well. So the writing side of it, the, the planning side of it, the arranging side of it is just as, if not more important to a well-delivered speech than whether or not you say, um. Oh. So I guess one of the things I'd want people to think about the Public Speaking Center is it's a resource for all stages of speech preparation.